Memes here and welcome back. For today's tech tutorial, I'm going to talk about Linux, specifically a preparation for the Linux Plus exam. So for the first few videos, I'm going to focus on the boot process. And I know that it's such a simple concept, you know, you just turn it on, it boots up, but understanding exactly how the boot process works, like how it goes from the hardware to the software, you know, operating system. One, it's very interesting, and two, it's actually really helpful when you really know every single stage that it takes. So, we're gonna start off with stage one, naturally, which is BIOS and UEFI. BIOS and UEFI do the same thing, they have the same goal. And usually, a computer only has one or the other. So, BIOS stands for Basic Input Output Systems, and UEFI stands for Unified Extensible Firmware Interface. Although these two have the same goal and they do the same thing, they have a lot of differences. So I'm going to use this hard drive as a reference while I discuss the differences. So, let's start with BIOS. BIOS has a little section here, it's called the boot sector. Inside that boot sector is the MBR, or master boot record. The MBR tells the computer where to boot, how to boot, pretty much holds all the boot files in that little section here. Now the reason BIOS is kind of legacy and more recent computers use UEFI is because BIOS actually has a lot of limitations. For example, the MBR is just this little section, and so it can only hold a certain amount of boot codes to kind of point to the entire hard drive. So first limitation is that it can only be split up into four partitions. A second limitation is for a BIOS hard drive, it has a limit on the size of the hard drive, so you can't increase your hard drive if you wanted to for BIOS. So when UEFI was implemented, it opened up a lot of possibilities for this first stage. On the other hand, UEFI actually uses an entirely different partition scheme. So instead of just having a little boot sector with a master boot record inside, this UEFI actually uses an entire partition to kind of collect all the boot codes, point to the uh, OS, the operating system, it points to the entire drive. So as you can probably tell, you can split it up into more than four partitions. So again, remember BIOS, you can only split it up into four ways. That's the maximum. There's a limit on size. For UEFI, you can split this up into a lot of different ways, probably more than you need for sure. And you can upgrade the size way more than the BIOS can. BIOS is so fixed that UEFI came along and just took over. Now there is one thing I wanted to mention that if you have an older PC that runs BIOS still, there are specific hacks that you can run or perform that will allow you to increase the size of your hard drive even with BIOS. So you can probably get on Reddit or get on other forums, people do it all the time. Um, but for the newer uh, computers, you will usually see UEFI. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on stage one of the boot process. If you liked this video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I always reply to comments. And there's a lot more tech tutorials and other videos planned for the future, so please stay tuned. Bye for now.